and welcome, I'm Pirta R&B and today I'm finally gonna sew something for myself. So this is the second installation of learn to sew with me where you don't really learn how to sew but I try to sew and you learn from my mistakes of what not to do. I know this sentence is probably not grammar, gram, grammarly correct. I don't care, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Uh, today, because it's almost Easter, I found this curtain. I don't know if this is my color, I guess not, but I'm gonna turn this into a skirt. So, I'm very... it's gonna be my first clothing that I'm making for myself. So, let's cut the intro and let's go do something more productive. Hello, voiceover Birthday here once again. Here I'm cutting off the actual curtain holders. I had measured the curtain and it was 138 centimeters or 54 inches in width and 234 or 92 inches in length. If I would have cut the fabric in two equal long pieces of my desired length, which was about 86 centimeters or 34 inches, and sewn them together, I'd get a wider piece of fabric together, but still be able to keep my desired length, so that's what I started with. I also looked at the fabric and didn't really mind which way the pattern would face, but this way was going to be the same direction as the curtains did when they were actual curtains. Make sure you're measuring things out, like either cut off the already hemmed ends that you will not be using, or count for them in your measuring. Here I have my trusty boys coming in to help me as per usual. This is the first sewing project. I don't get the fabric in their water bowl, so that's nice. Also count for seam allowance and you should not cut your fabric to the exact measurement without allowance because that will make your garment too small or too short once you have sewn everything together. I was also very aware of leaving some margin of error for me when measuring out the fabric as I prefer to just have things too long and cut some off rather than needing more fabric later on. Here I'm cutting the fabric for the waistband that ended up being too short so I cut them again and forgot to film that. The measurement for the waistband were 96 by 16 centimeters or 38 by 6 inches. My waist is 77 centimeters but I wanted to have some more material and just cut off instead of being too short. Also, because I would be putting a zipper on for the first time in my life, I took every helping measure I might need. I did end up using the fabric though, so no waste here. I pinned my two big pieces together and sewed them together. That was all I did that evening, but early next morning I got out my iron, pressed the seams as well as iron all the fabric. Now, I realized that I should have ironed all the fabric before starting out cutting anything as it would have helped a lot as well as kept everything a little bit neater but i know that now for next time i do recommend pressing your seams too my seams are in the front of the skirt and it's barely noticeable just because of that one thing look how pretty i also ironed the waistband and pressed it with the seam allowance before gathering all of the skirt, I did a little test that came out nice. So I just started. I made two straight parallel seams with the longest length stitch and just tried to keep it straight. I finished the bobbin thread halfway through my second stitch, so I had to make a third stitch, but you shouldn't have to if you can do one uncut stitch all the way through. I really thought gathering would be more difficult and I was swearing the process halfway through, but that was mainly because my bobbin bobbin problem, bobbin problem, <laughs> that the gathers kept slipping off. It was all better once I got the extra whole seam in it and it really worked. And it really looked nice. Now it looks like a curtain again. To lock in the gathers you have to get your waistband. I pressed mine so I would have a pretty big seam allowance. This is where the measurements become wishy-washy, but I would say the allowance was roughly 5 centimeters or 2 inches, and the waistband that was showing on the outside was about 6 centimeters or around 2.4 inches. I pinned the middle part of the skirt, which was pretty easy to find as I had the seam there down the middle. So I just pinned that to the middle of the waistband. Here you have to be careful as this is where you could end up with a skirt that is too tight or too big, so pin this, stand up, 
test it out, move the gathers if you need it bigger or smaller. I had to do it that way as my waistband was too long, but there's probably a better way to do this. I suggest fitting it on yourself to just to be 100% sure. Whenever you have your seam allowance pinned to the gathers in a way that fits you, you sew. I did two lines of stitching just to have everything secure and it looked super cute. I figured since I was doing this and still had some fabric left, I should make a pin for dress instead of just a skirt. So I got this rectangle. I have no measurements for that. I just kind of tried it on my body and put on the skirt to see roughly what it would look like. I sewed three sides of that rectangle and flipped it inside out and pressed it. Next time I have a project like this, I will sew the straps in during this stage, but I just forgot there would be straps. Then I pinned the bust piece to the waistband seam allowance, making sure the middle part of the bust aligned with the middle part of the skirt. I tried it on a few times to make sure everything was laying the way I wanted, and then I sewed it in. Now it was time for the zipper, and as you can see my waistband was far 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 too long, so I cut it off and pinned in the zipper. I changed the head of my sewing machine to a zipper head and just kind of went for it. It's not the most pretty of zipper installs, but it works as intended, although it's a little bit too tight when I put the skirt on. But I mean, it works. <laughs> I did the other side of the zipper, realized it was not perfectly symmetrical, but I mean, tried to align everything to the best of my knowledge, but hey, <laughs> it didn't end up perfectly. It was a-okay. I was happy when I was finished. It's a little bit crooked, but for the first time sewing in a zipper, I can live with it. It zips up and down and it holds everything in, so, and it kind of looked cute when I put everything on, it really looked cute. When finishing the back of the dress, I didn't know how to finish around the zipper, so that took a couple of tries. I did that and then I hemmed the skirt. I also went all over the seams around the zipper again, just to try and minimize the fabric from fraying away. Uh, time will only tell how it will actually hold up. This is my first time actually finishing off a garment as well, so I didn't know how to finish the zipper. I closed the back of the dress and then I flipped it and looked on the other side and saw half of the zipper was on the outside of the dress, so I removed that stitching and finished the back of it again, uh, just to make it look neat and cute, because that was not it. <laughs> and it looks so much better. Now I just hemmed the skirt as per usual. The fabric was fraying a lot, so... Well, now it's time for the straps. I used the reject waistband material for these that were cut to 85 by 16 centimeters or 33 by 2.4 inches. I cut them in half, sewed the long side and turned them inside out and pressed them. I pinned the straps to the bust and measure where I want the straps to attach to the back of the skirt. And I wanted them to cross. So I measured 10 centimeters or almost 4 inches away from the zipper on the back and marked the place. I would probably keep them closer to the zipper if I were to redo it, but I'm fine with how it looks. I tried it on my body and marked the length of the straps that would fit me. Then I sewed in the straps uh, in the seam allowance for the waistband. And now for the final result. do you think? I'm actually very happy and I didn't record it but I made this bow as well that you saw in the video. Uh, it was just kind of something I threw together. It's not pretty but it's cute. <laughs> um, 
I'm very happy with this. It's not perfect, but it's mine and I'm very proud of myself for making this. And I really hope you learned something from me making this. If not, I at least hope you enjoyed watching it. Otherwise, happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. Otherwise, just have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh. <laughs>